just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. If other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if you're doing the same thing, you know that you, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. Whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It has to be really great. If you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that, if it's an untapped market, or then, then the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than that. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always going to buy the trusted brand unless there's a big difference. You know, in terms of creating a company, um, you know, what Edison said, what, which was like, it's 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration is true. So a lot of it in creating a company is execution. Like you start off with an idea and that idea is mostly wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and then you adapt that idea and keep refining it and you listen to criticism, some criticism, you discard, the, you know, try to discard the wrong criticism, try to listen to the correct criticism, and then engage in sort of a recursive self-improvement um, and constantly refining it and making it better. And you have to work super hard uh, and uh, it's, that's very important. And then just keep making, keep, keep iterating on, on a loop which says, am I doing something useful for other people? Constantly seek criticism. A well, a well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. And you should seek that from everyone you can, but particularly your friends. Um, usually your friends know what's wrong, but they don't want to tell you because they don't want to hurt you. It doesn't mean your friends are right. Uh, but very often they are right um, and you at least want to listen very carefully to what they say and to everyone you're looking for basically approach that that you're wrong um, you know that, that that you the entrepreneur are wrong your goal is to be less wrong creating try, trying to build a company and have it succeed is like eating glass and staring into the abyss I mean what tends to happen is it's sort of quite exciting for the first several months yeah. of, of starting a company and then, then reality sets in, things don't go as well as planned, yeah. customers aren't signing up, the technology or the product isn't working as well as you thought. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then can, that can sometimes be compounded by a recession. Um, and uh, it can be very, very painful for several years. Actually, starting a company provides people to have a high pain tolerance. But I, I do think that uh, new great entrepreneurs are, are born every day. Um, and we'll continue to see amazing companies get built.